Different types of light shine with different colors. For example, tungsten lights are redder or warmer than fluorescent lights. While your eye does an amazing job of adjusting automatically to different types of light so that colors always look correct, your camera doesn't fare so well. Your camera has to be calibrated to the type of light that you're shooting in. If it's not, colors can appear wrong. This process is called white balancing. The idea is that you calibrate the camera so that white appears correct. Because white contains all other colors, if you can get white looking good, then you get all the other colors for free. By default, your camera is set to auto white balance. With auto white balance, the camera will attempt to continuously white balance itself on the fly as you shoot. There are two ways to set white balance on the D7000. The way you'll probably use the most is to press the white balance button back here. When I press and hold it, I can turn the main command dial back here and you can see my white balance setting change here. So here I've got auto white balance and that's tungsten and then fluorescent, daylight, flash, cloudy, shady. This is the ability to dial in a specific color temperature for white balance and then I have white balance presets which we're going to talk about in a separate video. So I want to just be sure that I'm set on A, that's the default, so your camera is probably already there. Now there's another way to set white balance and that's to go into the menu and here in my shooting menu about halfway down there is a white balance option and the reason you might come in here to set white balance is that you get some additional options for each white balance preset. For example, in auto if I go to the right over here, I get the choice of normal auto white balance and auto two, which says keep warm lighting colors. This is ideal if you're shooting in a tungsten lit room. It will still give you a good white balance, but it will keep the actual warmth of the lights in there and possibly do a slightly better job than the tungsten preset would if you're in a mixed lighting situation or things like that. Notice that when I do set that as my auto setting. So now I've taken that. Don't worry about this. We're going to come back to this in a minute. I now have white balance set to auto two. If I then go up here and change to another white balance, say maybe I go shoot in some fluorescent light for a while, when I change back to auto, what I'm actually changing back to is the auto two setting. That is now my auto setting. So if I want that to go back to just normal auto, I need to select that. Now on any of these white balance presets, when I hit the OK button to select it, I get this weird colory grid here thing. This is a way of fine tuning the white balance and we're not going to cover that in this course. It's a fairly complex procedure and honestly, I doubt it's something you'll ever do. It's a way of redefining the presets using a, an industry standard color scale that's pretty complicated and if you're really going to be that picky about white balance, you're going to be better off just shooting in raw mode and not having to deal with all of this. So when this comes up, just hit the OK button and your white balance takes and you're ready to go. You'll probably find that you can stick with auto white balance for most of your shots. Where it will start to let you down though is in shady light or situations with mixed lighting, say sunlight streaming into a fluorescently lit room. In those instances, you'll need to change to a different white balance setting.